Hello everyone. I am Mahesh, working in NHI Secure as a senior IIM engineer. Today we are discussing about roles in sale point identity now. Coming to the next slide. The main agenda of this video is to know how exactly the role will work with sale point in order to meet the goal that was not done by using the transforms. Coming to the next slide. Introduction. Generally, we write rules when they require goal cannot be achieved by using transform. It is a code based configuration option. A flexible framework that allows for very advanced or complex configurations. You can just think of it as basically just writing Java code. Technically, it is bean shell. However, it is so much like Java that if you are familiar with java you will be familiar with bean shell just like with transforms the use case drive the need for a rule that thus we have many different uh, rules types rules are very powerful but because of the identity now architecture there are some special considerations regarding rules essentially Rules must be very high qualified code because they are being deployed into a multi-tenant services. Coming to the next slide. Where exactly the rules run? There are two primary places where we can execute rules. One is cloud execution rule and another one is connector execution rule. Cloud execution rule. Cloud executed rules are running in the cloud within the identity now tenant. Connector execution rule. Connector rules run on the virtual appliance which is hosted on premise inside the customer data center. Coming to the next slide. Cloud executed rules versus connector executed rule. Coming to the cloud executed rules. Cloud executed rules as the name implies are executed within the identity now multi-tenant environment they typically have independent function for a specific purpose for example calculating an identity attribute value cloud executed rules typically need to query the identity now data model in order to complete their work the rule might need to guarantee uniqueness of a value it would generate a value and query identity now to determine if that value already exists access to an identity now data is already read only and you cannot make any api calls outside of identity now such as rest apis from another vendor services because they run in a multi tenant environment they are in a very restricted content there is a great deal of scrutiny taking during the required review process for rules we will cover the review process that is required when a cloud executed rule is submitted later in the presentation of course this all makes sense as you cannot allow rules to affect other tenants if they are poorly written you also have to restrict the rules content so that they cannot access any data from another tenant and things along those lines and coming to the connector execution rule connector executed rules do not run in the cloud which is familiar obviously based on the name these rules instead run on the va itself so the they are running in the customer data center and therefore they are not running side by side with servers from another tenant they are usually extending the connector capabilities the function the functions that they perform are quite complex they do not have access to identity now data module because they are executing on the virtual appliance the huge difference here is that they are not subjected to a review process by sale point 
these rules can be uploaded via rest apis and are significantly easy to work with with that said we can still want these rules to be well written the simple fact is that the possible negative effect of poorly written connector code is limited because it is not running with the identity now tenant and uh, coming to the next slide cloud executor rules read only access to identity now data module efficient and secure execution paramount perform a specific function example attribute calculation execute within identity now so have access to identity now data module however does not offer external connectivity because they execute in a multi tenant cloud environment they run in a very restricted context and great scrutiny does within the deployment coming to the next slide rules are tied to cloud based future functionality identity and account attribute calculation manager and account correlation process advanced provisioning process as this executed on the cloud a code review is necessary before installation first step this required to go through the rule review process automatic deployment and validation process are still in place and coming to the next slide these are the supported rules this rule is known as a complex rule on identity profile identity attribute rule an important consideration with identity attribute rules is whether generate logic that includes uniqueness check is acceptable account attribute rule this rule when you are creating an account to generate attributes like username first time passwords or email address correlation rule this rule is using facing complex to correlate identities to your identity profile manager correlation rule this rule calculates a manager relationship between identities before provisioning rule this rule to modify a provisioning plan a provisioning is sent out disable account and remove groups during provisioning when the life cycle state of an identity is set to terminate generic rule the rule to be perform the same task as the split transform giving as the delimiter and coming to the next slide process step 1 customer writes the rule that meets identity now guidelines sale point performs code review and approves or rejects if approved sale point implements rule any subsequent changes must be go through the same process after submission the the rule will be implemented in the tenant and coming to the next slide connector execution rules connector execution rules or connector rules are the rules that are executed in identity now virtual appliance and they are usually extensions of the connector itself they are directly editable with connector rule rest apis which probably able to interact with rules directly and coming to the next slide rules are tied to connector based futures implementation alerting or fetching additional data during aggregation performing advanced provisioning implementation of generic connector functionality this execute on the virtual appliance not on the cloud rules do not require a rule review connector rules can be freely editable via rest apis 
allows for easier interactive implementation cannot query data model for identity now and coming to the next slide there are many different connector rules are there before creation rule execute powershell command on iq service component based on the source account is created before modify rule execute powershell commands on iq service component before a source account is modified before delete rule execute powershell commands on iq service component before a source account is deleted after create rule execute powershell commands on iq service component after a source account is created after modify rule execute powershell command on iq service component after a source account is modified after delete rule execute powershell commands on iq service component after a source account is deleted build map rule calculate and transforms data from a parsed file during the aggregation process note this is only available for the delimited file source type not generic source types jdbc build map rule calculates and transforms data from a database query result during the aggregation process it can also perform additional callbacks to the database this rule is available for jdbc generic source as well as other sources that are driven from jdbc connector example oracle ebs people soft etc jdbc provisioning rule executes database queries to perform provisioning of account and access for all account operations sap build map rule calculates and transform data from sap during the aggregation process it can also perform additional callbacks to the sap system during sap api calls sap hr provisioning modify rule performs sap hr modify operations during provisioning when used for attributing to custom sap hr attributes web service before operation rule execute before web service https operation often used to calculate the values web service after operation rule executes after a web service http tps operation often used to parse complex data and coming to the next slide connector rule deployment process no code review required and customer right rule that meets identity now rule guidelines customer deploys and retrieve with api coming up slide let's discuss about apis customer managers rule code in own version control system and coming to the next slide salepoint provides us with six apis to perform connector rule operations mentioned below list get create update delete validate are the apis that are currently used for connector rule operations to get all the rules we can use list connector rules to get a single rule we can use get connector rule if you want to create a rule we can use create connector rule if you want to update the existing rule you can use update if you want to delete the existing rule we can use the delete connector rule if you want to validate the rule we can use the validate api and coming to the next slide rule examples these are the few rules examples like calculate complex identity attributes calculate complex account attributes provide connector logic connector rule example if there is a requirement to disable the account based on the number of entitlements or the account should be disabled automatically based on the 
role revocation this can be achieved by writing a connector rule like a small example for cloud rule as well this can be used for generating a unique mail id which can scan their existing email ids and generate a unique mail id for every joiner and one more example is for manager correlation if any account is inactive then the account will be redirected to a test manager coming to the next slide rule best practices rule must follow naming conventions must omit committed blocks of unfinished incomplete or untested code try to maintain a single rule for a given use case in the tenant always run sas rule validator against rules before reviewing submission for cloud rules check for uh, null pointer exceptions and everything thank you so enh social media pages thank you